As we slowly climb out of one of the most difficult periods of time in our history, there's some incredible lessons that are emerging. And one of those lessons doesn't involve what we do, but rather the ramifications of what we don't do. Let's have ourselves a pocket-sized pep talk, and I'll connect the dots for you. A pocket-sized pep talk, the podcast that can help energize your business and your life with a quick, inspiring message. Now, here's your host, Rob Jealous. Although I liked playing in pools, I never took swimming all that seriously until I entered my 30s. And at that point, I fell in love with swimming long distances and did just that week after week, month after month, and year after year. I never swam less than a mile in any workout, and I usually swam two to three miles. And this repeated motion became somewhat easy for my body. And I continued this routine for the next 28 years. Then the pandemic hit. My club closed and my swimming workout stopped abruptly. Well, like everyone else, I scrambled to find other ways to work out. I rediscovered running. I practiced yoga. I worked out with weights. I worked to strengthen my core. I was happy with my level of fitness, and I felt like I successfully managed this unwelcome change to my exercise routine. Or so I thought. See, within a few months, one of my shoulders became sore, and then the other one wasn't far behind. It became so bad I had trouble putting my shirts on. Assuming it was an injury caused by lifting weights, I began to back off the weights. No help. I went to rehab. Some help. A cortisone shot? Some help. More rehab. Some help. My doctor's unofficial diagnosis was, you're getting older. And I began to think, sadly, he was right. Until three weeks ago, when I was fully vaccinated, I went to my club and I nervously jumped back in the water. It was incredibly painful to swim, but it was bearable. I only swam about 20 laps, and I wondered if the pain would get better or worse if I swam again. And I did swim again. And I did remember something my physical therapist had said to me on more than one occasion. Motion is lotion. The pain slowly subsided over the next three or four swims, and just as quickly, I regained most of my flexibility and strength in my shoulders. I learned something I never really considered. It wasn't the motion that was creating a problem, but rather the lack thereof. So let's talk about you now. You do things that are important to your business. And for the purpose of this conversation, these things create a kind of motion. I'm talking about tasks that require true effort and self-control. And frequently, these aren't your favorite tasks. For instance, I haven't met many salespeople that truly enjoy cold calling. Nobody wants to or needs to tie his or entire marketing approach to cold calling, but doing a little bit of it on a consistent level can be effective. The more you continue this motion, the easier it becomes. This pattern can repeat itself in any number of other examples, such as maintaining presence on social media or reading industry-related books and articles, or or just chipping away at long-term goals. To be successful, you have to repeat the activities that support these efforts in a sustained, almost routine manner. What do you think would happen if you didn't just miss out on these tasks, but stop them altogether? Like my tired shoulders, the damage would be quick, and the impact would be lasting. What's more, the longer you stop that motion, the harder it is to begin again. When you've stopped long-term, consistent, successful habits, despite the nagging negative voice in your head that may tell you otherwise, you absolutely can start them again and pick right up where you left off. Sure, you'll encounter some obstacles early on. And like getting back on a bicycle, you may wobble but you won't fall. Before you know it, these successful habits of the past get easier and easier. I'm not a fan of working out. I'm a fan of showing up, sticking to my commitment, and finishing working out. 
I'm also not a fan of the less than glamorous aspects of my work, like chasing down clients or sitting on planes and spending nights alone in hotel rooms. I am a fan of finishing these less than glamorous aspects of my work. I'm sure you're not a fan of certain activities in your business or, or personal life, but the more you do them, the more routine they become and the easier they become. If you stopped and that voice in your head is convincing you that you can't go back, shut it down and get right back at it. I'm guessing you'll be quite surprised at how fast you pick up where you left off because there is truth to these words. Motion is lotion. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's show, please rate and recommend it on iTunes, Outcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also get more information on this show and Rob at Jollis.com.